everyone how are we hope you're okay just going to jump on do some daily races just we've got until 3 p.m so just a little two hours of racing and um then it would, yeah we'll be streaming again later on just double stream today um just thought i'd jump on i've just been the gym just got back so we're on our second account because i've only just got back from the gym and um yeah might go on the main account i don't know how competitive it'll be but starting off on the second account from the back have some fun hope you're all good by the way have we got sound let me just check yep we got sound right let me do the countdown for the gt7 let me do that why we're why i've got that on there let me just fix that now because i have to do it a separate countdown for the start of the stream so let's change that to the third to the fourth and then put that on Third, put that on. Night. Um, start that. Okay, that should be the countdown to GT Seven now. Right, <clears throat> let's go. I need to switch my screen. Ah, uh, Corvette. I, I I just like the Corvette here. I've got used to driving it, so just enjoy driving it. Oh, it's quite competitive, isn't it? Okay. Well, it's weird because <laughs> we've got people on their second account starting at the front. They've obviously set lap times, so they start a little bit further. But we're starting from the back. Okay, this is this will be interesting. It's actually quite. I'm quite glad we're starting on the back because it's mainly a, a drivers. So yeah, we'll just start at the back today. Have a, we haven't done much of this, so we'll do like four races from the back. 
Orang. Yeah, Mustangs actually. Um, I'm surprised more people are not using the Mustang Hanzo, if I'm honest. Because the Mustang's actually got a better top speed than the Corvette, I think, on top end. And it's quite good at handling, so that is a car that I might try out if I go on the American server. I might give that a go just to try a different car because I, I like the Mustang. It's one of my. I, I actually enjoy driving it. If the Corvette's good at a track, the Mustang normally can, can be decent as well. So, yeah, I might give that a go. Well, that's the point. Let me just. Need to take me um... Me too. Right. <clears throat> Let's go. <laughs> right, so P18. Let's see if we can get into the top 10. Um, we might go on a bit of a pit lap one strategy here and just try and save tyres and just be very gentle. <laughs> right, let's go. Oh, hello. Right, let's go. Let's see what we can do. He's losing that strip slipstream straight away. Letting everyone through that guy. So I went on my main account last night with not streaming and I did a little go on time trial. I swear that time trial is super annoying. I should have had a 38.1, like a low 38.1. Kept messing the lap up. Managed to get a 38.2 though. But it's still only just in the top 30. <laughs> I don't even know if it's in the top 30 now though. Like if it was in America or Asia, our time would be like in the top 3 or 4. But on EU it's only just in the top 30. Crazy competitive on the EU leaderboard at the moment. I think I might pit lap one. And try and get a big undercut here and then look after the tyres. Try and pick up someone's slipstream. Oh, oh, wheeling's off. Wheeling is off. I think we're going to have to pit early because... A lot of people bat battling here, a lot of chaos. What is going on? Oh! <laughs> he ran wide. <laughs> Let's go for an early pit stop and see if we can get into the... Um, if we can get a top seven, be a good result. Yeah, I think tonight might be quite competitive. I think Lightning might be on tonight, so I don't know. He said he might be. So I'm probably going to jump on my main account tonight. Have some fun on that. All right, let's hope this guy doesn't fight too much. On your outlap, you really want to drive smart. I'm going to try and save my tyres a bit. Scruffy through there.
Oh, there's a wall there. Try not to go into it. Right, let's just be very smooth. I'm trying not to overdrive it because I don't want to kill these tires with pitting lap one. broke the slipstream to him anyway, so... See you later, Chris. I'm hoping it'll be competitive tonight, because... Obviously, if people are... Uh, if lightning jumps on, it'll be... It might get quite competitive. I'll ask him, I'll ask him after this stream, see what he's doing. Right, let's not go down to second gear. Let's keep it in third gear. Someone's binned it up here. I'm guessing, yeah, I'm guessing they haven't pitted the, this group here. I don't really want to push too much. I want to just try and be smooth here to save these tyres. Started snowing? Really? Is it even cold enough, Neil? <laughs> it's not that cold here. Really? I haven't even got the heating on. That's crazy. I only live a few miles away from you and I've got no heating on. Madness. be smooth on the throttle. So not a great lap, but like I say, I'm just trying to be very, very gentle on these tyres. Because we've got to make these tyres last with no slipstream at the moment to the end. One thing I will say about this wheel, I do think it's better on to look for looking after tyres than the, um, the the CSL. I actually think there is a slight improvement in like tire saving with this wheel over the um, CSL, the normal wheel. The direct drive definitely helps with it. I feel like you can be a bit smoother on the throttle because you feel a little bit more with the detail. Also, because you're driving more consistent, I think it also helps with the tyre wear. Because you're hitting your apexes and that enables you to be a little bit smoother on throttle as well. We're, we're on the Simlabs P1X with the Fanatec, Fiesta, um, the Fanatec GT DD Pro. Do with picking up his slipstream here. If we can get in his slipstream, this could be good. It's just help save our tyres a bit. Although I don't want him to hold us up too much. Or we, he might hold us up actually. We might have to go past him. Oh, hello. Did he just genuinely take a line as if he was going to try and overtake me from there? I'm not sure, but <laughs> I think he might have done. The McLaren's okay if you do a 5-5 split, really. 
or a 6 4 split. So they're the lead group in front of us, but obviously we're not going to catch them up because they've got much better tyres. Their tyres are all completely fresh. Mine are dead. But we might be able to latch onto a slipstream here to get like a P8 or something in this race. Yeah, PS5 stock alert on Twitter, I follow it. Like I've got a PS5, but there's quite a few different stock alert pages you can follow and stuff. Oh, we're up to P5, what? P6, sorry. Although he's going to have much fresher tyres behind us. I think we're P6 overall here at the moment. we just got to try and hold on to it with these worn tyres. Interesting. I do think P7 is going to be right up behind us in a minute, though, when the, this tieway is going to really kick in in a bit. Oh, shit. That's not good. We don't want to do that. No! Right, we have to push a bit, use a bit of tire life up. We got him out the slipstream there. Back to trying to save a bit of tyres again. Okay, we're up to P5. Quite surprising. Have a heart <laughs> period check. I, 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 do you know what? I was going to answer that until I saw it was you. <laughs> he's, he's just, he's just joking, people. He's only messing with you. <laughs> he's being sarcastic. You need to understand this with period check. Don't always take his questions as legitimate. <laughs> I need to get a bit of breathing air between us here because our tyres are really fading. He's getting much better exits off the corners now. Look, he's nearly in the slipstream. We're up to P4. What is going on? Oh, can we hold on? I don't think we can hold on to this, though. He's in the slip. He's got the slip now. Look, his tyres are much better than ours. Can we hold on for a top five, though, maybe? God, I'm so rusty on this at the moment. If I wasn't making so many mistakes, we could have had a P4 here. We're 
be, we'll be tactical about this. We won't, we won't fight him because we don't want to lose too much time. So we'll let him go for now. Save our tires for a lap behind him. We got 1.5, and this will help me now. Hold on to a top five. You okay, Henry? Stay with him, and then make, if we can get him on the last on that straight on the next lap we'll try it oh the tires struggling break earlier because these tyres they got no grip We're not going to be able to go for a move this lap. It's about just holding on, really, here. She got quite good rotation through there because of the rears going. the tires stayed in his slipstream but just not able to he's just got much better tires but I'll take the top five from the back we'll take that we'll take that <sighs> don't think we could have done much more really didn't really overtake anyone just did it with strategy so it's an okay first race of the day though We'll take that. Ugh.
All right, let's go again. We've got time for three more. Fast, quite fast pace at the front. Uh, the, to be honest, this week's daily race has been brilliant. Like, I think this has been one of the best weeks we've had in years. Yeah, the DD the DD Pro is just really it's just such a good feeling when you're driving. You get so much force feed. You get so much detail in the feedback. That's what I really like with it. It enables you to drive a lot cleaner and um, consistent. That's the big thing for me is consistency is a lot better than the CSL. Um, my, so what I've got, I don't know if you might um, piss. <laughs> piss. I'm not calling you that, but um, what I got, I'll try and show you now. So I bought this. It's like a um, car seat for your lumbar support. It goes in, it goes in there. And it um it really helps the comfort because without that I was getting quite bad back pain. But as soon as I got that, I've got a pillow as well underneath it. I've got a pillow that I sit on, but I've got that to help my back support. And it makes quite a big difference, if I'm honest. It really helps. So I just got mine from Amazon. I just looked for um lumbar seat support. There's loads of different ones. I checked the width from that. Um, just measure your chair and then check the width and then yeah, I just ordered one to size pretty much Oh, Dr. Cage. Thank you so much for the $20 donation. Let me just read that Um, Dr. Cage. Thank you for the $20 mate. Thank you very much for such great content Can you keep up the great work? I can't wait for GT7. I am 100% with you with that Cannot wait for GT7. Thank you so much for the donation you legend get the legend emote out for Dr. Cage Please chat spam that legend emote why can't I hear the sounds coming through? Have I got... I know why. One second. I know what I've done. Give me a minute. Just wondering why the set... That's because I've muted that. You don't want that on mute. There you go. Fixed it. G29 is an alright little wheel. If you want something like lower end. That just... You know, if you're just starting out. A G29 is a very, very solid wheel. 100%. Why is this not working? Oh, there you go. Yeah, oh, thank you for that $20, though, Dr. Cage. The nice donation, that. Thank you so much, mate. Dave. I would start at the front, but I don't think the lobbies are more... Uh, uh, there's not enough A-plus ranked in here. So, I'm just going to have some fun from the back. I'm going to go on my main account later. I was going to go on American account, but I know that tonight's going to be quite stacked. So we're going to start streaming around 7-ish probably. Half 6, 7, something like that. And um, I'm going to go on my main account tonight. Is Kia a little bit of a donkey? Somewhat of a donkey or a complete... I'd say complete donkey. Absolute donkey. Yeah, they're a bit like, like at this time of day, they're good for just chilling out on the back, you know, starting from the back and working on tyre wear. And then later on, it'll be all about strategy because it's going to be competitive later. Oh, the G29 is a good, good, good willpower once you pay for it. Even the, um, my mate's just, he, I think he was asking for, like me for some advice. He managed to find um, the new one, the G9. What is it? The the, the PS5 one, the, well, sorry, the PS4 one, the, the new Logitech. 230 quid with the pedals. Like, obviously, that's quite good value, that. Like, for the newer version of it. So, yeah, if you, um, that, you know, like, if you're on a lower budget, 230 quid for the, um, the new Logitech G9, whatever it is. That's not bad at all, that. Is 
Then what are you doing up at 5 a.m., Henry? <laughs> I hope you, you're up early and not still awake. How many likes are in? Can we hit 150 likes today? I think we've, we've only got 150 people in the stream, so if we can get 150 likes, that would be brilliant. The G923, that's the one, yeah. 230 quid he's found it for. We're on 50 likes at the moment, 100 to go. Let's set the target at 150. Can you lot hit that 150 target? If I'm honest, the pedals are actually pretty decent, Andy, um, on the Logitech. Like, they've got quite good weight to them, but you do have issues with them. That's the only problem with, like, dust and stuff. You've got to make sure you keep them clean. Logitech pedals, you've got to try and make sure you keep nice and clean. Point. I need to order the. I'm going to order that today. The. Um, I'm going to order the uh, metal quick release today for this wheel rim. I'm going to switch it over so I don't have the plastic one on it. I'm going to order that in a bit. I'll, I'll probably order that before I go live later on. And I do think that is going to be a worthwhile. I know it's an extra bit of money, like, but I think it's a worthwhile purchase to keep this a lot more secure. For me, only criticism of this is the plastic quick release on it. I think it would have been better to come with the metal one. And charge a bit more, but I suppose they wanted they probably wanted to keep the price down. Yeah, the G923's also got um that true force feedback, whatever it is, which I presume GT7 will incorporate into it for it. I would think they would. Just to give it a bit more feedback, so I know a few other games are doing it, so I'm sure GT would. So it should be pretty good on GT7. I'm I'm on the Fanatec GT. Uh, this is what I use, the Fanatec GT DD Pro. Yeah, Doctor Cage. That's that's what I'm. I'm definitely gonna get it because I think it'll make it fit. I, like there is a little kind of like a slipping feeling every now and then, and like a, a clicky feeling sometimes because it's obviously plastic. So I think with the metal quick release, it's going to make a huge difference because I've obviously got, I've got the, I've got the Fanatec F1 e Sports rim, and that's got the metal quick release on it, and um, that feels a lot more secure on it. So I think it's going to make quite a nice difference. It's just it's quite an expensive upgrade, but I think it's worth it to keep the whole wheel in a lot better condition. Oh, hello. All right, I need to go for a wee before I start this. So don't go anywhere. I'm just gonna run for a wee before this race starts because it's just about to start. Back in a second. Starting to rain. 
Right, P20. See, because I'm using the boost kit and I've got the high, I've got pretty much max force feedback on. I think it's advisable that I get the um, metal quick release because there is a bit of, there is definitely like a, there is some sort of movement. Like, I don't think it's, it's not like it's, it's perfect. Like, I, it doesn't bother me when I'm using it. I can just feel that there's like a little click every now and then when you're like under heavy load. But um, it's not that, it's not actually that, but it doesn't do any harm. It doesn't really like, whether it'd do any harm in the long run, I don't know, but it doesn't um, affect you're driving so i just want to get the quick release so the metal one just to make sure it stays in good condition as well yeah the f-type is pretty solid here any um if you've got slipstream there'll be so many cars you could use it's a bit more competitive this lobby but still start from the back yeah, the Aston Martin, um, Mustang, Corvette, even the Mercedes with a slipstream should be pretty good here because of tyre wear. The Mercedes could surprise you. Arkies, you legend. Thank you for the um, DKK45. Didn't know much about race grab until I started watching you and other streamers. Today I want to race you using just that. Oh, nice one, Arkies. Well done, mate. Um, your legend. Thank you for the donation and congratulations on another win on Daily Race C, mate. This race is very much about strategy as well. That's a thing. Like, if you play it smart, you can gain a lot by just using people's slipstreams. With, like, if they've got better tyres. Like, some people will fight people, but it's not worth it sometimes. Sometimes it's better just to race smart. But yeah, get that legend about out for Arkies, please, chat. I appreciate the support on the channel. Just warm these tires up. Oh, he came out of that corner so slow. I think he's on a different track, him. With this, if it doesn't build up too much here, I'll do another. I might go to like lap three. The only problem is though, you want to get the undercut. Maybe two laps might be quite optimal. going to get the slipstream here. I wonder if you, if you might go for an early stop. Let's see. Okay, I'm not going to pit them. Stay out. Do one more. BMW. Um, the M6. On this track, if, it should, if you've got slipstream, it'll be alright, but the thing with like them type of cars, they're not as good top end, so you will need to get slip. Right, come on people, don't fight too much. You've got people that have pitted. I think we'll go in the pits this lap. No point really battling these at this stage because you're not going to get anywhere.
Let's get in the pits there now. Try the two two divide, two eight divide. For the Corvette, four six is optimal. I think four six, like four on the medium, six on the softs is quite optimal. You three seven can work if you've got good slipstream. Three seven's fine, but yeah, from this situation now, I just want to get an undercut. Like, if you can get slipstream and save tyres on the soft, then seven laps is normally all right, but... If you've got no slipstream, I find 6.4 quite optimal. Yeah, on this one, you want to start on... Most people start on mediums. Because the problem with this track is it's very easy to follow people, so... You don't really want to be giving that slipstream to someone on medium tyres if you're on softs. Might be able to get him on this straight here. I think the GTR fades a bit in sixth gear, doesn't it? So we, sh we might be able to get past him. If we can get the slipstream to this guy. Might help save the tyres a little bit. <coughs> so he's got the slip at the moment. Something happened behind the set. If we can get in the slip after this corner, it'd be good. Try to attack it. Ah, oh, nearly got it. Nearly got it. Damn, that's so close. Nearly had it there. They're getting closer to each other now, so we might be able to pick up that slipstream. Hey, they're battling, that's good. Should have it now. Right. In. Let's 
go. Possibly going to lose it here, though. Oh, he's messed that up. That might help us. Now, this is where we just need to race smart and look after our tyres, really, because we've got all the tyres in them. These are just fighting. They're gonna lose themselves time here. Might make a move. If we can get ourselves up one position, or even two, and then try and get onto P6's slipstream, maybe. See if we can get into this, see if we can break late. Can we send it? He's gonna try and send it round the outside. We'll go. To avoid him. I had to avoid him. I would have killed him. I had to go to the right, I would have murdered him. I think we should have pitted lap one, but this is the problem with this, like, pitting later. You get involved with these battles, so lap one would have been a better, smarter move, really. Thank you so much for the PayPal donation, Piss and Broke. Piss and... Thank you so much, mate, you legend. Get the legend emote out for um, Piss and Broke freeze in the chat for the PayPal £5. I'll read that in a minute. I might have to read that in a minute when I get on the straight. Give me a second. But thank you so much, you legend. Now to the channel, I would like to see you go to... One second. I... <laughs> I'm trying to read I haven't got long enough straight to read it. Might be able to do it now. Now to the channel, I would like to see you go to the size of Super GT. I mean, that would be amazing, but I don't think that's going to happen anytime soon. But thank you so much. Um, appreciate, the, pre appreciate the donation, you legend. Chat, make sure you spam that donation uh, legend emote out, please, for the £5 PayPal donation. It'd be amazing if we could get up to Super GT's level, then might, we might be able to eventually upgrade our shit car outside. <laughs> but yeah, I think that's a long way off. I'll be happy. My main target at the moment is 50k subs. 
Like, we, we want to hit 40k as well soon. We're not far off. And then it's all about trying to get to 50k. Which hopefully GT7 can be a, a launching pad towards that. I'll be very happy if we can get to 50k. That'll be a really big achievement, I feel. But thank you so much for your support. And thank you for following the channel as well. Oh, sugar, I forgot to turn. Right, what we need to do now, again, is just look after the tyres and try and stay with these two because my tyres are fading. I, I've took too much life out of them. Might be able to get a run on the inside of this WRL driver. Let's break early and see if they battle. And then we'll take a tighter line here and try and cut back a bit. Right, break early again. Let's go for exit speed. Might as well bump draft him. No point fighting him. We're not going to get past him with the slipstream, so we'll bump draft him into po into that, guys. Oh, he missed it. <laughs> he nearly killed him then. We got the slip as well now. got hit got hit by that yellow corvette that's annoying ah would have possibly i think we would have had that then ah we would have had the p6 if that yellow corvette didn't hit us ah yeah the the yellow the yellow corvette hit us but it's, ah, it doesn't matter. Oh, the, the, the physics are way better on GT Sport than GT5. Way, way, way better. Much better. Yeah, GT Sport's physics are actually pretty solid. They, they need a little bit of work in, like, suspension, but overall, they're not bad at all. So we went from P20. P20 to P7 isn't too bad there. That's not actually that bad. Yeah, it's only a day. It's only on a, a little bit of fun, isn't it? So it doesn't matter. Right. Let's go again. Quite fun from the back, actually, this. I think daytime from the from the back, nighttime from the front. That seems to be the best way to do this.
see how many likes are we on. Eight likes away from 100. Let's, we got 225 people in here. Let's see if we can get them likes up to 150. Target for today is 150 likes because it's only a very short stream. Let's see if we can do it. We've got two more races to do. Thank you, everyone, who's already hit the like button as well. Oh, nice, Ash Live. Um, no, I'm not using the recommended settings. Um, I need to put it in the... I will try and get what I'm using into the description. Now, it's up to you. Yeah, I, I have literally just done... My settings have just been done from uh, my old CSL. Transferred over and then just altered slightly. So, you might not like them, but I, I find them all right for what I'm using so far. But I will get them in the description if I remember. I need to do that. There's no surprise that Massey was fired. The only problem is, who are they going to replace him with? That's the issue in F1. Like, who? <laughs> they need to have more than one person involved with it. Or it needs to be like... They need to change a lot of stuff in F1. <laughs> I got hit on that last corner, Alfie. I think we would have been able to defend it, but I got hit. So who, whoever was in the yellow Corvette hit us into the braking zone and knocked us wide, unfortunately. Evening, Jimmy. In GT, I use 610. I, I, I've always used 610, even for the CSL. It, it feels fine. 610 in-game, and then I just pretty much max on the wheel. Yeah, we just got a little tap that knocked me wide, but... Oh, well. Massey looking for a job at Netflix now. <laughs> uh, have we had many new subs in today? I like doing these streams because you find new people coming into the channel and it's good to see different faces and stuff. Well, I don't see them, but you know, seeing new people coming in, it's always interesting. We're only um, 34 subscribers away from 38,400 now. It's getting close to the 39k and then I've... It's all going to be about that first week on GT7. Can we push for that um, 40,000 before I hit 40 years old? That's going to be the big push. Ah, don't be moody. Thank you for the 449, you legend. You're the legend of Mo Alpha. Don't be moody. Keep it up. Thank you so much for the super sticker, mate. Absolute legend. Thank you so much for all the support, everyone, recently. I tell you, like all the people that have been using my Fanatec affiliate link, it makes a huge difference to me and my family. So I want to say thank you because I've, I got the, I've got the first payment from last when the, the wheel, November, when it started again with um, like Fanatec affiliate stuff. So thank you so much because not only for like me and my family, it enables me to get like um, some stuff for the channel, which I'm going to, I need to get a new hard drive for my PS5 so that I can record more stuff onto it and also for the games that are coming out soon so yeah you lot of legends being able to give me the ability to do all this stuff so thank you so much for using that affiliate link my birthday stream will be on my birthday um just after gt7 comes out it'll be a good way to celebrate gt7 that mashing a stream out there having some fun we'll be do probably doing daily races or something i don't know just have some fun Maybe some daily and maybe some open lobby. You okay, Duke?
Um, to be honest, Goggle, you don't need anything too bad. Like the um, Samsung, is it the 980 or the um, the Western Digital 850? It'll do you. The, the Western Digital 850 is all you need. Like, you don't need anything more than that. Um, that's what I'll be... Um, I, I, I was looking on it today. I think Scan have got it there with the heatsink. Like the hill, I want the one with the heatsink in it. It's like 150 with the one terabyte. That that'll be perfect for me because then I can um, put my games on it from the PS5. Put all my PS5 games onto that really, and then leave the internal for the recordings because I don't know if you can save recording stuff to an ex the external one. I don't know if it will allow you. Yeah, the Western Digital 850 is the one I'll probably get. I think it's the 850. That 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 does everything you need, really. I think it's the 850. I can't remember whether it's. I'm sure it's the 850 that's the equivalent of the 980 Samsung. Someone started. Just keep doing it, Andy. Just keep pushing, because like when I started on Drive Club, it, it wasn't just like instant. You don't just get instant like amount of people. What? And I didn't start streaming until like about three and a half years ago but um you just got to keep at it don't be put off by low numbers because it's not easy like a lot of people think it, it's an instant thing but youtube very very difficult and you gotta put a lot of hard work into it so yeah just keep at it that's, that's the best advice you can really do multiplayer gt7 um i would like more competitions so I would like more one-off competitions, like maybe like a Porsche competition in like a you know a GT4 car all the way through, or like an RSR Cup car, or like a Ferrari Challenge series or something. I'd like more competitions, more FAR, FIA style events, but with like maybe like a a Group Two championship, a Group Three champ. I'd like to have more like championships based on one type of formula because. For me, I'd love a Group 2 championship or um, a Super Formula championship or something like that. I would like more of that because I think daily races are good, but I'd rather be doing three or four championships, like proper competitive ones a week, than doing just daily races. It'd make for much more entertaining um, racing, I think. Um, in terms of lobby count, I don't think that's going to change on GT7 because we've already seen 20 player, um, 20 player for online sport mode maximum and 16 player maximum for public lobbies it's already been stated so that ain't gonna change i wouldn't be i wouldn't because of the ps4 the ps4 is limiting that so don't be expecting any big changes in that area <clears throat> uk goes rider how are you mate Lightning, how are you? I've only just seen lightning there. Hey, are you are you racing later, Mikal? Are you coming on later, Mikal? I'm gonna be on later on tonight. I, I might go on my main account though. Oh no, he's on in this one. <laughs> lightning, pit lap two, mate, or lap three, and then I'll just follow you and just save my tires behind you. <laughs> Oh, God. Lightning, what lap are you pitting? What lap? Let me know. This is where we're just going to abuse Lightning and let him just take us around the track. <laughs> He'll probably pit lap three, but lap two can be done in these cars, so I might pit lap two and then just try and jump in his slipstream. Save my tyres. Don't follow me. <laughs> Mate. I, uh, <laughs> that's the, someone tell him. <laughs> you don't want to be following me, mate. Without a slip, I'm not actually that good. I need a slipstream to be up to pace. Good job he is fast. <laughs> Although he's been playing a lot of iRacing, I think, haven't you, recently? I think. I seen you. I seen you beat Lando, didn't you? 
on the um, fr fixed Ferrari. How do you regroup after a bad race week? Just look forward to the next one. It's very, like, the thing is, you, you can always get the R back at the end of the day. You can lose the R, but you can get it back just as easy, so it's not really worth getting too annoyed. This is a complete A-plus lobby now. This is where I wish I was on my main account. <laughs> right, let's race smart. Let's see if we can... Um, probably pit lap three. It depends on the race. If there's a lot of battle in our pit lap two. Oh, did they? Ah, oh, right. They crashed in front of you. Yeah. Still, you, you were competing with him. Lando smashes I racing, so you did well to even be near him. Your next targets, you've got to beat Max on it, um, Mikel. Max, Max what happens a beast on I racing though. You didn't know that was Daddy, seriously. Trying to give lightning the slip there. I think lightning might pit earlier and do some tire saving. Just gave him enough space on the exit. Oh, someone's off. Oh, Steve Gaiman's off. Tires and no, we're on the mediums. Don't have to worry about these tires. We abuse these ones. Don't have to worry about tires on your first stint. Oh, someone else is off. Might pit earlier, you know. I might go for a big undercut. Look at all these cars. It's probably going to be. A good idea to pit lap two. I think we're all, loads of us are pitting here.
Not the best way to start looking after your tyres. The lightning will save his tyres in the slipstream here. My god. Sorry, lightning. <laughs> I'm driving into the wall. Right, let's try and get our rhythm going here. Right. What happened to lightning? Lightning's died. I think he hit the wall. What happened to... No way. I think lightning just... I don't know if he got hit or... Bon or something. What the hell happened there? Are. Yeah, I don't know if he did that little mistake that you can do when you clip you clip the barrier by running a little bit deep on the corner. Very easy to do on that one, but we did it the other day. to back out there that other <laughs> that other guy panicked a bit i think when he saw us um going for the move and just braked really late if i can get into this guy's slipstream this will be a huge help i'm gonna have to i need to push like crazy here Give me that slipstream. Mum. Got it. Right, let's just be careful on the braking. So this guy must be on the mediums. He's not driving the best here. I don't know what to do. Because if he was on fresh softs, he would just be gone. But my guess is he's on the uh, mediums. Might as well. I think our pace will be better than his at the moment, so I'm going to go past him.
Right, we've got the outside. I, I prefer the outside for this corner because I can brake late. He's braked way too late there. Wanted them to go side by side. Give me a bit of breathing space. Oh my god, look at the train of cars behind. I need to break this slipstream. Look at the train of cars behind me here. <laughs> Holy crap. Right, we're going to have to use some tire life up here. Bloody slipstream is so annoying. Faster. check it out after oh, Rui. Well, after I've picked the kids up on that anyway. Trying to defend but not lose race time is quite difficult here. I don't know if he'll send that. He's going to have the run on us here, although. Okay, he's going to bump drafts because he probably knows he'll be vulnerable if he doesn't. Oh, I 
no, he'll want to get us on the next lap, won't he? That's what he'll want to do. to get a good exit oh he's gonna have the perfect slipstream here he's gonna go past us on the outside he's gonna easily get us here we'll have to break late and try and hold the inside My tyres are too dead. What if he gets past? I don't think we'll be able to do much because our, our tyres are dead. Yeah. Shouldn't have really opened the door up then. I don't know why I did that. We still got the inside. Oh, he's backed out. Tired are so dead. <laughs> Oof. Just hold on. Just hold on. Ah. Yeah, I think Mikhail met Barry R. <laughs> oh, God. I just saw his car in the background. <sighs> just check that web. Yeah, the electric cut out yesterday with the rain. Good job we wasn't streaming. I'm just hoping it won't piss down in a minute. I saw, did you hit the barrier? Um, or did you get hit? I just saw your car in the rear going... Ah... <laughs> uh... Right. Good little race with that guy, though. Where is he? On here. Alright, let's go again. One more race we've got left. So, yeah. How many likes? Are we anywhere near the 150 likes, by the way? Da -da 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 -da. We are on six more likes for the 150. If you haven't already hit that like button, feel free to smash it. It helps the channel out massively. So I appreciate everyone who's took the time to do that. Refresh that. Yeah, I mean, as long as we get this race done, I won't be live again until about... Um, what time is it now? 
Trent, let's have a little look at the weather actually because today's weather. So it's going to be dry at about six. So I'll try and get on for like half six, seven ish. And we'll do another three hours tonight of um, Daily Race C. About half six ish, seven ish, I think I'll be back on. But this is the final one and then I've got to pick the kids up. Oh, did you, Ash Live? Nice. Yeah, I think I think the you're on about the um, GTDD Pro, or you, if that's what you're on about. Or... Yeah, I think they're um, sending them out at the moment. I've noticed a few people are getting them. I think the servers for this will be on for quite a while. I, I wouldn't think they're just going to shut those pissing down here. Oh, it's, it's absolutely hammering it down. Let's hope the electricity will last. If it does cut off, just to let you know, if, if we do have the issue that we have at the moment with that weird cutting off of the with water getting in somewhere, we don't know. We still don't know where it's getting in. But if it does, I won't restart until later because I've got to pick the kids up in like half an hour or so. Just to let you know. But it should, hopefully it'll it'll last a race. Yeah, I think a few people will be getting. A, I've said they've been getting their GTDD Pros recently. So, yeah, I can't wait for some of you to get it because it is definitely a better wheel. Like, there's no there's no doubt about it. the force feedback. Everything's really nice on it. Cool, you should have no TC with every car, really, Callum. Don't use traction control at all on the. Like really, pretty much at all on this game. If you can learn to use no traction control, you'll be faster. Oh, you don't want to go the McLaren. Um, well, the McLaren's not bad. If you're good at tire saving, the McLaren is worth it. But in lower lobbies, the Corvette will do you a lot better than the McLaren because the Corvette looks after the tires better. So yeah, you can do better variety. No, I haven't tried it on any other game yet. <laughs> I did. I I, I cancelled my iRacing subscription because, if I'm brutally honest, it was just a waste of money. Um, I, I will try it on ACC though. But I'm I'm thinking I'm ordering the uh, Metal Quick Release tonight, Rui. I'm gonna order the Metal Quick Release tonight, so I might wait until um, before I go on them. I might wait for that because the force feedback might be a bit better, like stronger on them games. So I might just. I don't want to damage this um, wheel rim. Or oh, I could try, um, I could try um, this one with ACC as well. I might try this wheel rim with ACC and I and I race him. I know that that one's got the metal quick release already. Yeah, see, you can't change this one. See, I've got the F1 Esports rim. This here, where is it? I've got this one, but you can't, you can't put this one. This one doesn't go on to that, I don't think. No, it well, that this one this one's different, so it's different fixing. So this won't go on to that one, unfortunately. But I'm just gonna buy the one that you can buy on the website. It's um it the one on the website will go straight onto this. You can see it there. You can see this is the this is the only downside to me is this plastic bit here, but I pres I presume it's because they wanted to keep some of the cost down. Um but the metal one, which it will be like this one, but Slightly different design. Should be a bit stronger. Yeah. Oh, I don't know what that one's like. Oh, right. Okay. I don't know. Really. This one's different, you see. So I'll probably just buy the, the quick release. And then at least I've got a good quick release for any other wheel rims that I buy that don't come with it. No idea with GT7. With the, it was on GT6, the PP system. So M Mikhail, I don't know if Mikhail's still in here or... Mikhail will know 100% how it works on GT6 because he played a lot of GT6. But I presume it'll be a bit different on GT7. I think they'll make changes.
Well, no idea about that, Jay. When I did all mine, like, I downloaded everything. And um, when I went onto the um, thing, it said everything was up to date after I put everything on it. So I, I think I, do I, I downloaded the latest stuff and it just said everything was up to date when I um, did mine the other day. There might be a new one out now, though. I still need to put the low-tail kit on. I need to... I'll probably do that as a separate review. I've still got the low-tail kit for the other pedals that I've got. All ah, right. I, I presume that they, they're aware of them issues. <laughs> I hope they I hope they were, they're aware of them issues, uh, Mikal. Because it... <laughs> yeah, I hope that type of thing doesn't affect it on GT7. I would presume the way they're going to do it, though, with GT7 is the, they're still having car classes. So the car classes with the PP system should make it a bit better if if they can get the get it right. I, I Honestly, I hope that they don't have any, like... For, for the online sport mode, I don't want car upgrades. I want it to be race cars as default. I hope they've got a system that will not allow people to put, like, mad shit on cars and... I don't want to be racing. So, you see, for me, I don't want to have a Group 3 race. And then suddenly some Beetle with a Porsche engine, like an old Beetle with a Porsche engine, is in the race. That that would just ruin the game for me. I, I, want, I want the racing classes to stay the way they are on GT Sport, like GT3 cars, GT4 cars, Super GT cars. I want them to be all in their right areas. I, I don't want no, like, tuned-up cars being able to race in Group 3 and stuff. That will ruin it. Are your are the shifters on the McLaren rim a bit like th these um, dead eye? Are they a bit like them? Like they're quite small, little like they're like plastic small, plasticky small ones. There are they a bit like that? I must admit, I do. I mean, these are really small on this, but these are metal. I actually changed mine on this. I don't know if you can see it. So I put this one. So you can see this one's higher than this one. You can see there. I don't know if you can see like the height difference. I lowered this. I lowered this one down and this one higher because I, I tend to use when I'm driving I use a different part of me fit like the way I do it I prefer I couldn't do it the way it was because I was missing it I kept doing that so I lowered it down so I changed the positions on that one yeah they Luke don't the state of play don't pay much attention to that because that that's like um, custom racing GT Sport. If you go back to GT Sport and they showed that, they had all kind of mixed up races and stuff. So I don't think they'll do that, if I'm honest. for G Not for the sport mode races, I don't think. I think for sport mode, they'll keep it like GT Sport. It'll be very similar. Oh, that ain't gonna happen, my daddy. That'll never happen. I don't. I don't think that's a good idea for every race. I think for longer races, like maybe Daily C, have like a, a a super pole, but Daily A and B, I think time trials fine. But like Daily C, a super pole would be good. But I don't mind time trial for qualifying in like the shorter races. But for the Daily C, I would like a one shot qualifying. But I, I, I honestly don't think they're gonna change much. I, I'm going into GT7 expecting everything that's in this game to be exactly the same in GT7 online. I, I think there'll be a daily A, B and C and it'll be the exact same structure down to the timings and everything. I honestly don't think anything will change in that regard. So yeah, don't, don't be expecting... This is my... I hope people aren't going into GT7 expecting all kinds of mad changes for sport mode because I reckon it'll be identical to this. I, Daily C will be exactly the same type of race with time trial qualifying probably. I, I don't think they'll change much, in my view. Yeah, I like metal shifters, if I'm honest. Ones that click and make a clunk when they shift. I, I, I actually like that. Nipper Dog, thank you for the £2, mate. You almost still talking about GT7. The people just asking questions, mate. <laughs> Thank you for the donation, Nipper Dog. Get the legend of out for Nipper Dog, please.
I mean, it's not just new tracks, though. You've seen the trailers, Luke. Like, we've got a whole new weather system in there with a whole new physics and aero model. And everything. it's not just new tracks, clearly, from what we've seen so far. Thank you, Nipper. Who knows about the penalty system? No idea. Whether they'll even bother with one. They might have just sacked it off. Who knows? We've not seen any signs of it yet. Ah, oh, Rui, thank you for joining the channel as a member, mate. Appreciate it, you legend. Get the legend emote out for Rui, please, for the base tier member. Big thumbs up to Rui in the chat, please. <laughs> nah, I, I, I think GT7 is going to be a great game. I think it's going to be really good, but I just think some people's expectations are maybe a little bit too high. But you've got to remember, give the, PD are one of the best developers for after game support. So you're going to get a lot of new cars for free, a lot of new tracks. It's going to be amazing. I think I reckon it will, Luke. I just think that they're going to... Um, it'll be running at a lower resolution, to be honest. I think it's going to have to run at a much lower resolution. See? I'm on your inside. I was definitely there, and I think I earned the space there. He just turned in when we were there. Oh, well. Race over. <laughs> last race of the day as well. What a shame. Doesn't matter. Let's see if we can try and not finish last. I think because of that... We're going to have to try and... Um, I'm going to extend this stint. Because people are going to battle up at the front, so I'm going to extend the stint on the mediums and go for a 5-5 divide. And people will battle at the end, and we might be able to catch the back end up towards the end of the race. Let's see what let's see what we can do. Definitely think we were on the inside of that corner when he turned in. I think I had the right to the inside line there. I just don't think he knew I was there. Probably didn't expect me to be there, maybe.
That's Ari. That's Ari's second account. Well, finalist, as we know. You have to choose your front tire first, Skep Digger. So you have to pick the front tire before you pick the rear tire, otherwise it won't let you change. It's because we all used to, in top split we all used to do a bit of a um, a bit of a glitch. We used to um, we all used to pick um, like one tire, one set of tires on the front and a different on the rear to get rid of the pit stop that we had to do. And it'd be faster than going like all mediums, for example. This lap or go a, go for like a really good tires at the end. I feel like going for really good tires at the end, but will we have enough time to catch up anyone though? That's a problem. I'm not sure we'll have enough time. Also we're gonna come out into we're gonna come out in traffic there if we No, we'll pit. Otherwise, we'll, we'll come out into cars and we'll lose time. We've actually gained by extending, so let's see what we can do now. We've got a lot of time to gain here, though. It's quite everyone's A plus, so hopefully some people will fight and we won't finish last. The top right is the um, GT7 countdown, hence the GT7 logo. Let's try and get a good lap on this next lap. They're in slipstream on the straight. You can see P19's in the slipstream. We're not going to gain because they're all in the slipstream. If they start battling at the end, maybe. My game, we'll have to see. Ah, 
I messed that corner up. What's happened to lightning? A 38.8 by Agu. What? <laughs> I don't know how he's done that. He m must have been bump drafted. The only thing I can think he got a bit of bump draft or he um, had a bit of slipstream maybe. messing that corner up. A little bit scruffy this lap. Two more laps. Can we not finish last? <laughs> oh god. Oh, oh, oh! Yeah, it's sunny here now.
He breaks way too late then. Nah, he's not slowed down enough, he's just gonna hit the I mean, we could have had P14, but still, at least we came back to not not too bad, really. Right, I just need to, um... I'm going to have to end this pretty quick, because I've got to go and pick the little one up. But, um, yeah, at least we, at least we didn't finish last after the mistake. We gained positions in the race still. One second. Right, I need to get ready to pick the little one up, so I'm gonna have to go pretty much straight away. And also, the oh, my oldest one's ringing, so I'm gonna have to be quick and go and say thank you all for coming in. Thank you for the support. And I'm gonna have to leave you with the outro because I'm gonna have to answer this phone call. So, yeah, see you all tonight, everyone. Take care, enjoy the rest of the night, have fun. <laughs> Thank you.